But the Lions, they have placed Jared Goff on the reserve COVID list. So that's coming off of the big win over Arizona. So how have the Falcons been preparing to potentially see Tim Boyle? You know, I think right now they're just, they'll probably prepare for Goff and they'll prepare more for whatever the offense is. And to what you asked Mm -hmm. before about DeAndre Swift, I imagine they'll prepare that DeAndre Swift will play. And that's the thing with the Lions from the limited amount I've seen them this year is it doesn't necessarily matter who's in the backfield. They've been getting production. Craig Reynolds last week gains 100 yards. Jamal Williams, really good number two back who could be in number one many places. And then, yeah, a guy like Swift can be dynamic, but you would think even if Swift returns that they're going to manage his workload first game back in a few weeks. So I, I think they're going to prepare for Goff. They're going to prepare for Swift. And they're going to just prepare more for scheme than anything else because I don't think it's going to change that much, be it Tim Boyle, David Blau, or Jerry Goff, and then DeAndre Swift or Jamal Williams or Craig Reynolds. I think at this point they feel comfortable in what they're, enough in what they're doing and it's late enough in the season that they're just going to roll with it. And we listen, we've seen – the one thing we've seen Dan Campbell be in certain situations is very, very aggressive and kind of just go for it. And I would imagine that you see more of that – again this week.